things have come a long way. I mean, when we first began, you had to buy soya powder and mix it by hand if you wanted soya milk. And now you can walk into any supermarket and take your choice. Now it's come a long way. Vegan foods are everywhere. There are alternatives to fur, to leather, to wool, to you name it. If you want it, you can find it. And of course, cosmetics aren't tested on animals in the EU anymore, which is terrific. And I, and I guess they are some of those victories. And, and the fact that you have managed to ditch fur is, is one of those major victories, isn't it? it? It absolutely is. And of course, we have said that's not enough because whenever you're wearing something that comes from an animal, it wasn't voluntarily given to you. You had to hold the animal down and either take out the feathers or shear the animal, which can be quite amazingly barbaric if you look at the videos. And we say just avoid anything that comes from an animal. You also mentioned uh, veganism, obviously hugely popular now. How much though do you think that's down to animal welfare or down to, to people's health or, or lifestyle or even just being a fad? I don't think it really matters what it's down to as long as it's happening. That's a happy occasion for all those animals who are on the transport vehicles and going to the abattoir, which is a hideous experience. Having stood in those places, I can assure you nobody wants to be there if they're an animal. But uh, a lot of people who are suffering from heart disease or see it in their family, perhaps diabetes and so on, you do find nowadays that physicians will say, doctors will say, try to stick away from meat and not just red meat because chicken has as, almost as much fat as any beef thing. But you also have young people caring about the environment. And you're happy with, with, with those messages, whatever reason people are doing it for. Yes, I mean, reducing suffering is everything. Let's talk about the controversy though, because the organization has met plenty of it, let's, <laughs> let's be fair. I want to, to deal with a recent tweet of yours. You said people who eat meat a cannibals. I mean, not only is that inaccurate, it's hugely aggressive, if not offensive too, wouldn't you agree? Oh, it's just a bit of fun. We like to have some amusement value in things. And what I said actually was only, an, only cannibals eat animals. It was a little play on words. Because of course, one of the things that we're trying to say, and we know it's species, but one of the things we're trying to say is we are all animals. We forget that and we think human beings are gods and the rest of the animal kingdom is trash. But if you take, go back to biology 101, we are all animals. You say this is just a bit of fun, but do, do you think that, that, that it could be seen as offensive as well? Oh my Lord, if you look at my Twitter page, that's a bit of fun. You should see what I'm called and the things that people say about, I'd like to take your eyes out with a pair of scissors. That's not fun. This is just saying something, say, come on, everybody. But think we don't have to eat animals. Things can be misconstrued. I want to talk about some of your campaigns. We often see semi-clad women, naked women even. I mean, do you think that's appropriate in this day and age? Yes, absolutely. I, hang, I, I was hung up in the um, market next to um, the bodies of pigs who had been slaughtered. I mean, it's not a sexual thing. But you don't it's see men like that, though, do you? you don't oh, see yes, men. yes, but the press doesn't cover the ones we but do you, with men. But you've men. chosen to put women, naked clad women No, we don't choose to put women. I think that's a very, very important point, is the women are using their bodies as a political statement. They're all volunteers. We don't pay people. Those are women who are not living in Afghanistan, and if they want to take off their clothes for a good cause, or for any reason, that's up to them. Let's talk about where, what the future holds then. I mean, where do you, th do you see things going? Well, I know that we're on a good track, just as um, young people used to lead us away from other bad habits, and we've seen racism, which is still a problem, being shown for what it is. And the Me Too movement, we now know that you shouldn't treat women that way. We should have known all along. I think we're now seeing, especially with youth, mm -hmm. that people understand Animals are incredible. They have enormous talents, abilities, emotions, and maybe we should give them the respect they deserve. Love it.